Hey there, Capricorn. Thank you for joining me today. I want to welcome you to your full moon in Virgo reading for this uh, February 27th. I'm really excited about, about this. And we're totally going out of order from, um, with the signs. Uh, we are going to be using possibly a lot of different um, decks here. It's really interesting. Uh, originally, I was just going to do signs by the elements and then little mini reads um, within that. And then over this last day of the portal of this 222-2021 portal, I, as you can see, I'm on camera. I'm in a new location in my house. Hopefully you think it looks nice. Um, and I, I, it feels good here. It feels real good here. And so I've spent the last few hours setting this up and, and just thinking about what we're gonna be doing here with this full moon and the reads this time around. Uh, very powerful full moon. Uh, we just, today is 2-22-2021, and it was an amazing portal, uh, and I did some really uh, intense energy work today, uh, and, <clears throat> and so things just shifted. I felt a, a lot of shifting. We did a lot of work um, for the collective and really helping people to um, release fears. I put out a video today for uh, releasing fears and healing from fe fears and all sorts of fears and shame, abandonment, guilt, unworthiness, all that good stuff. Um, and the different reasons that you can feel that way, money, love, and the unknown and failure. So it all kind of, a lot of that stuff interweaves together. But um, anyway, so very, very um, big day, this portal and and leading up to this from the from the new moon and uh and the energies that are that are for this for this portal was for divine union and that is really number one divine union with yourself your soul self and um and then everything and everyone that comes after that your guides and your your um your guardian angels archangels uh spirit animals and um uh, just your the vastness of what our spirit tribe um, can be for any any of us and it's it's a lot um so we can open up to that and then and then um start coming into ourselves into our souls and knowing who and what we are the truth about about ourselves and about the universe and just opening up to more and more and more healing ourselves clearing ourselves all that good stuff. By the way, I'm a psychic, physical empath, medical medium, natural born energy healer, uh, channel, astral meditation guide, um, ascension coach, and uh, I like to call myself a spirit liaison. <laughs> Go between. So I do a lot. I'm also a divinely guided artist. I'm going to be doing more art and sharing that on my channel as well. I hope you're looking into that. Um, so I, I do a lot to check, check me out on my website, the healing butterfly.org is my, but is my butterfly is my website, the healing butterfly.org I'm infinity. And, um, so anyway, then we decided we were going to do separate reads for each sign. And then it was like, all right, what am I going to do here with the, with the cards? What cards are we getting into? Then I was guided to get all of my decks, all of my cards. So I have one, two, three, four, five tarot decks. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different Oracle decks that we can be popping into. It's not like we're going to use them all, but before each of the reads, I am going to be getting into, um, which ones we're going to be using. And also it was, where are we starting? I thought I was going to start with Aries, but mm -mm. Um, uh, no, I actually used my pendulum ass for each sign and I went through the whole thing and then I got to, um, I got to Capricorn and that's where we landed with Capricorn. So we're going to, with each, each video, I'm just going to go as guided for what cards we're going to use and, um, 
each sign, I should say, each sign, each video, what sign I'm going to, what uh, cards I'm going to use, and, um, you know, what order we're going to go in. So I'm going to take a second here just to tune into what cards we're going to use for your sign, Capricorn. Let's see here. Okay, Feeling Moonology, Angel Tarot, uh, Wild Wisdom of the, fa <clears throat> of the Fairies, Dragon Fae, Light Seers Tarot, The Fairy Oracle, Archangel's Oracle. All righty, looks like that's our lineup here. Let's see what we get. We're gonna start with the Moonology Oracle deck. So one of the really cool things about this full moon that I'm super stoked about is that both the sun and the moon are at eight degrees. Um, oh gosh, where are they at? Now I'm forgetting. Forgetting, and I I took notes, and I they're deleted. I keep, couldn't find them because I watched a few different videos, a few different astrologists that I'm really into. Because um, I'm not an astrologist, it's one thing I don't do. <laughs> but I'm into it. Here we go. Uh, a win-win outcome is forecast. A full moon in Libra card it was your very first card, so that's looking good, Capricorn. Full moon in. Libra, a win-win outcome is forecast. Very good. We're going to get one more here. So anyway, it's the moon's at eight degrees and so is the sun. And now I'm, I don't even want to guess what it was. It was too long ago that I watched those videos and I just don't retain information like that. Um, don't let your past hold you back. South node. Don't let your past hold you back. So releasing, um, releasing, releasing the past. One more. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Oh, I like this one, Capricorn. Time to take action. Very good. Don't let the past hold you back. It's time to take action. It's a win-win forecast. Digging it. Love it. Love it. Okay. So love the vibe we're starting off with here. Let's get into, what are we going to do? Archangel Oracles coming up next. I got to say, it's it's been a while since I've been this, this excited about, about readings, even though the last ones have been great. It's just, I'm super stoked about this one. Angel therapy with, <laughs> with Archangel Raphael, angel therapy. Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. There you go. So I'm hearing write down your concerns. Don't call them worries or stressors because those are kind of triggers, aren't they now? Because we're trying not to worry. So concerns, write down your concerns. Even if you feel that you're feeling good about stuff, write down your concerns because clearly this is coming up for a reason. You're, you're concerned about stuff, which rightfully so, sure. But Raphael's coming in to say, seriously, <laughs> You'll be able to take action and move forward with some stuff if you if you release some energy that you've got kind of you're like I feel this like I, I can't really quite relax and exhale. I'm constantly in this thing. And um, I'm hearing there's good reasons for that, whatever the case may be. Good reasons for that. Claire cognizance with Uriel. Pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. So, Claire cognizance that is when 
divine inspiration. You get ideas, you get clear knowing, you know, that sort of thing. Um, pay attention to your thoughts and ideas that come to you because they are answered prayers. They are um, your, your archangels talking to you and telling you, your guardian angel talking to you and telling you, hey, you know, and you actually listening. Um, or you're hearing your very own soul talk to you if you're on if you're if you're at that spot. All is well. All is well with Jeremy L, Archangel Jeremy L. Everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to with hidden blessings you will soon understand. Well, there you go. So it is, I'm hearing it can be, diff, it can be difficult, but, but keep the faith, know that everything is, is working out exactly how it is meant to all is well. Remember he's saying again, Raphael is saying again, please write down your concerns Take the next couple days to write down your concerns and just really dump about it. Just really, really let it loose about your concerns, how you feel, what you're thinking, what it's about, who it's involving, um, that sort of thing. And then write it all out over these next few days, today's the 22nd, the full moon's on the 20th, well, this will come out on the 23rd, but still that's a lot of time, to go and write down your concerns and take that with you into the full moon, do your full moon ritual, whatever it is, if you don't have a full moon ritual, then just make this your full moon ritual, write down your concerns and you're gonna get a candle and in a bowl and a little candle got here and you're gonna and you're gonna think about that you're gonna release it and you're gonna burn it with a full moon have the intention to release your concerns your worries to the archangels to the angels to your guardian angels let all the angels um Raphael comes through with this with this message because he's he's the the healer angel like not every, every single angel can heal, but he's the archangel known for healing. He's the one who works with me and my healings. He goes right into the body. It's friggin' amazing. And, um, so he and I work very, very closely together. So I, 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 I yeah, <laughs> it's real tight. So, um, so he's like, yeah, just please just unload. He's saying unload. I want you to unload your burdens write them out. And even, even after you're done writing them out, read them out loud and, and burn them in a ritual, um, light incense, meditate. I'll definitely have a full meditation, <laughs> of course. Um, and it'll be out, um, a couple days before the, before the full moon. So people have a chance to do that before the, before the actual new moon and on the new moon. So, um, so that's cool. Okay. I'm hearing move on from this. Uh, where are we going next? Where are we going next guys? Where are we going next? Oopsie. What's under here? Ah, fairy oracle. I needed to dig for that. They're like, what's under here? The wild wisdom of the fairy oracle. So yeah, I work with angels dragons and the fae. So I have dragon fae oracle here too that we're going to get into. So we have the, whoa, oh, that was a little flippy flip. <laughs> See, that was a flip. Greenman's door, portals to fairy wheel of the year, galactic and uh, Gaian entry points. Oh, well, that's exciting. And I should say, this is a new Oracle deck form. We're just doing one. It's a, it's a new Oracle deck for me. I just got in the last um, couple months, but I don't look at all my, all my cards when I get them, unless I'm guided to. And, uh, and so there's a lot of 
happens that I've never seen. <laughs> and I like it that way. It's fun. Okay, let's dig into it. Um, where are we here? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Not even used to the, what the book looks like yet. Okay, so card number 40, Greenman's Door. And there we go. Okay. I'm just seeing like, all right, I think I can do this with this light. It's not that bright in here. It looks really bright on the video, but it's really not that bright here. So um, here we go. Portals to Fairy, Wheel of the Year, Galactic, and Gaian Entry Points. The fairy know that there are times when the door to their realm is firmly well shut. They choose when and to whom the door will open. And while they may not look like they are on guard, the beautiful fairy maiden swinging oh so casually on the handle. Oh, I'm sorry, I never even showed. There you go. <laughs> sorry, I didn't show it to you. Got so excited. There we go. Greenman store. Oh, that's so cool. Such a cool picture. Feel free to pull it up on Google. Greenman's Door of the Wild Wisdom of the Fairy by Lucy Cavendish. I have three of her Oracle decks. The Hidden Worlds, the Dragon Fae. Hello. We, uh, there we go. Uh, the Dragon Fae and this one, the Wild Wisdom of the Fairy. Um, her Oracle decks are ridiculously magical. Therefore, I was guided to them and I'm absolutely in love with them. They tend to get me emotional. So fair warning. Okay. They choose when and to whom their, the door will open. And while they may not look like they are on guard, the beautiful fairy maiden swinging oh so casually on the handle and the green men of the wood literally behind her will not let any pass unless they have shown they are good and wild at heart. But what the fairy also know and what you are about to learn is a great secret. For there are eight great doors to fairy every 13 moons and they are as old as Mother Earth herself and are powerful portals to other dimensions and worlds. Each of these great doorways and portals occurs throughout what witches call the wheel of the year and they run from sundown to sundown of the following day. You all learned of these times when you were very little, when you had time on your own amongst nature, we fairies showed you the door and told you when this door would open. You just had to know and to stay aware and just need to remember again, sorry, you just need to remember again when the doors open wide between the world of fairy and your own. These eight special times have long been coveted covered or changed or smooth smut sorry smothered by lore but now you know their true magics you too can experience the door opening know that if you choose to connect with fairy at these times you are entering a world between the worlds that is very real and utterly true and can bring many things to fruition if you um, in your own world in record time as fairies are not impeded by our rec uh, reckoning of days and nights. Four of these doorways occur as the earth mother breathes, grows and changes throughout the 13 moon cycle, others call a year. And four are of, of the galactic web in which she is weaving her own earth dreaming and magics. By connecting with each of the eight great festivals, you too will connect. Oh, I'm getting so tingly on the top of my head. It is not even funny. Holy moly. <laughs> I can't. Um, sorry. Uh, throughout the 13 moon cycles, other call, others call a year and four are of the galactic web in which she is weaving her own. Or every time I get to that part, my top of my head, it starts tingling really hardcore. Uh, her, it's making me giggle. This is so fairy. Fairies make me giggle. Sorry. 
I'm going to try to start over. They're like totally tickling me and being silly and making this difficult, making me, it's, sorry. <laughs> okay, and for our, uh, our of the galactic web in which she is weaving our own earth dreaming and magics, by connecting with each of the eight great festivals, you too will connect with powers of this earth and beyond her. You will connect strongly with your fairy self, which is both of this earth and beyond her too. You will be in tune with magic and by doing so, you will notice addictive relationships, compulsions to eat and partake of alcohol and foods that are not in tune with your magical etheric earth self will fall away. These doorways, once walked through, can assist you in detaching from harmful thoughts and behaviors. Walking through these doorways heals. And divinatory meanings. You are about to pass through a potential doorway of time. Thus, you will soon have access to other dimensions and realities, including that of the fairy. It is time to consider becoming a walker between the worlds, to draw back the veil and to part the, the mists. To do so will bring healing, change, and powerful magic into your own current reality. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can attest to that. Ask the green man and the fairy maiden for permission to enter and make an offering. Then prepare for deep, beautiful, abiding change. Please see the front section of the guidebook for the earthly dates of the doorways. Make an offering, place your hand on the door and push ever so gently. Then she will open. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, I'm not gonna read the reverse meaning. Let's go here. I've, I've referred to this a few times since getting this, um, this deck. So, so we had the um, Lugs Nod, I think that's how you pronounce it, February 1 and 2, Southern Hemisphere. It's also um, August 1 and 2. The first harvest, watch for fairies bringing in grain and corn and making fairy breads and sharing. Uh, this was the portal that we had. So we had our Stargate. So that's part of that portal. So the next one would be the Autumn Equinox, March 20th through 23rd. It's the Southern Hemisphere. Oh, that's the Southern Hemisphere. Sorry. And September 20th. 20th through 23rd in the Northern Hemisphere. Okay, so the next one would be Sam Hain. Oh, sorry, nope, that is, sheesh. I was like, that's, as soon as I said it, I'm like, uh, that is Halloween. That doesn't sound right. Okay, here we go. Ostara is March 20th and 20th and 23rd. So that's the next one, March 20th and 23rd coming up soon. This is the time to plant your seeds and ask the fairy prince for what you wish. Oh boy, perfect. <laughs> Your dreams and wishes fall upon fairy ears willing and ready to hear and help them come true. Help baby animals and rid yourself of any toxins in your cleansing products or cosmetics you may still be using at this time. Um, these show the fairies you are serious. Mm, so you got to get serious about, about yourself, your health, your wellness, um, because and it makes sense, right? Because they're not going to be bestowing wishes on people who don't love themselves. Period. You need to you need to love yourself enough to take care of yourself, to heal yourself, to rid your your body, your life, your your what you intake, what you put on your skin from toxins and what you eat and all that. So that makes perfect sense. So in this next few weeks, you can, you know, if you if you 
already have a really clean lifestyle, take a once over on it. Make sure like what kind of lotions do you use? What, what, um, what, what products are you putting on your skin? Um, this is something I looked, I had to think about when I first started awakening spiritually several years ago and what, what was going on with my body and, and, um, and what I, you know, what I was doing in every regard in my life with, with my person, with my body, with my soul's vessel. And, and, um, so anyway, <clears throat> I cleaned up a lot of stuff. I don't even use lotion. I use avocado oil and, um, essential oils and that's it. And I, my skin is, I never have to use anything on my skin, just out of the shower with some oil and that's it. And so, but I remember a time where I was constantly needing lotions and they're very drying. There's a lot of toxins in them unless they're like really, really organic. So just as a, <clears throat> excuse me, as a example, so this is very exciting. This is an, an awesome, 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 um, card and read and, um, the green men's door, you are being invited um, to walk between the worlds to connect to Fae and the fairies. And let me tell you, once you do that, I'm, I'm assuming that you're not there yet. <laughs> or to take it more seriously, if you're like, okay, I believe in, fairy, in fairies, you know, I've gotten to that point spiritually and with and with my connection to Gaia to, to know that there, that's definitely, you know, for reals. And, um, but maybe that's as far as you've gotten. So, you know, this is the thing saying you are the type of person who is invited to take this a step further and get into, into uh, life with the fairies, which let me tell you, it is very magical. They do love to play. They're saying we love to play. They do love to play, but they are very serious as well. They're saying they don't fuck around. They don't fuck around. That's true. Uh, and they don't, they don't come out and they don't talk to everybody. Like they said, they don't. And so just to get these two decks for you, Capricorn, kind of a big deal. I have already cleared all of these decks before we started, but I'm going to light some incense and just pass them by. Um, why did not do anything? There we go. I <laughs> had some smoke. Like, <laughs> so anyway, um, we're going to get a card from the fairy Oracle. This is a different from a different um, channeler. Uh, he's actually also the artist of these cards. These cards are extremely magical. His, um, the other deck that comes that he does is the heart of fairy. And, uh, and that's just more kind of the archetypes and the stories with, you know, kind of involving love and relationships. So this is a, whoa, this is general all of fairy. Let me just tune in here. Feel free, close your eyes. Connecting with the fae, the fairies. <sighs> okay. Let's see. He'll say, I'll know it when I see it. Yeah. The singers of healing. Or the singer of healing. Wow. Got a little theme here with healing. Um, the singer of healing may as well be Raphael, by the way, uh, just so you know, <laughs> 
singers in the fae in the fairy oracle and there are several singers in the fairy oracle the singers um oh god now i'm speaking on all the different singers but they're they're really really here we go had a little uh let me fix that let me pause this real quick i'll be Okay, dokie. I have a cover over light because it's really bright and it just fell. I'm like, did it just get bright in here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, and it's just way too bright. Way too bright. Um, so this is card number 10. The uh the singer of healing. So there's the singer of transfiguration, the singer of initiation, um, the singer of healing, the singer of courage, uh, the singer of in, um, intuition, the singer of connection, this, uh, he of the fiery sword, so that would be like divine masculine, the guardian at the gate, and then there's also she of the grok. So here we are with a singer the singer of healing. So card number 10 of the fairy oracle by Brian Froud. That's what let me try, I'm trying not to get so much glare on it. Oh, that's hard. Sorry, it's just got to be kind of turned. So feel free to look it up. The singer of healing from the, um, the fairy oracle by Brian Froud. Tons of these really awesome books. Okay, here we go. Healing the body, mind, and spirit. The song of the singer has the power of healing deep wounds of the spirit, wounds that can destroy mortals or immortals alike. Faith betrayed, love dishonored, trust abandoned, and other injuries of the spirit all inflict serious wounds, which are reflected in the body's illnesses and injuries. Through the song of healing, we may be restored and renewed, but only if the wounded one is prepared to forgive and let go, returning to love and compassion. As always, with all gifts of spirits, healing is offered, not forced, and requires active participation on, the, on our part. True healing must take place on all levels at once, body, mind, and spirit. These levels are inextricably linked, all one piece, and we cannot, this is page 69, by the way, and we cannot expect to change one without changing the others, body, mind, spirit. Our bodies do not do things all on their own. The links between different aspects of being are many, complex, and often obscure. And yet, the principle of healing them is simplicity itself. We need only to let go of the things that are hurting us and nurture ourselves with the things that benefit us. So simple, so difficult. <laughs> The things of healing, the, sorry, the song of healing is present everywhere. And like the other aspects of the great song of ecstasis, it is without limit. Healing can seem so complex as we dig our, our way through all our blocks and resistances and old stuff. But in the end, it simply is letting go and opening up. Uh, please, oh, see, please page, please see page 201 for a little more on healing. Learn everything you can from others. There is a lot of good information out there. Just keep the essential simplicity of the process in mind. Sorry. And you won't go, and you, wait, and you won't go far wrong. That's not the word, sorry. So this is the healer's card and its presence in a reading may speak of healing to be given or of healing to be received. The circumstances and processes of reaching well-being may seem easy or they may bring great challenges. In either case, we're asked to participate in our own healing as we're strengthened by this singer. More usually... This singer speaks to, of both giving and receiving because we cannot truly and freely give without receiving as well. Healing is something that 
flows through us, not from us. And as such, we are inevitably affected by its passage. Drawing this card tells us of both a need and an opportunity for healing ourselves and perhaps others as well. As Warren, one of my teachers said, healing is not something you do. It's something you are. Oh, so true. Um, and it did not come through in reverse. So I'm just not even going to read that. Sometimes I, I do read the reverse, but I'm not going to, I'm not. And as a healer, as somebody who facilitates healing, I can definitely say this is 100% on point. Um, and this is why when, when I do my healings, it is body, mind, and spirit. We do, we do go in all those all of those ways and also um, um, connecting, you know, spiritually with Gaia, with those like uh, Archangel Raphael, Gabriel, Michael, Merlin, um, and again, Gaia. Um, so when we, when we, when we go there, when we do true healing, it's about, um, it, there is a big, a big aspect there. Um, definitely I'm hearing surrender. Definitely. That's, that's, that's a big one. Um, because you're, you're saying, you know, I, I, I'm letting go of the things that are making, that are holding me back in any way that are out of alignment that are in that, in that sense. And I want to be well, I want to be better, um, and taking the steps to do that. Conversely, if you're somebody who's, um, a natural uh, or a healer, a natural healer, somebody who's meant to do healing in some way, um, you'll definitely feel that um, compelled to, to do that in different ways. Um, it'll just come up. And for me, it started, I mean, I'm a natural born energy healer. I'm a medical um, medium and a psychic physical empath. So I feel exactly in my body what people feel in their bodies, animals as well. So not only do I get senses of what it is, I literally feel it. So if your knee hurts, my knee hurts. It's like on that level. So, um, so for me, for, for that sort of thing, it was, and I didn't even really know it wasn't until I, I got really healed in my, in my own right for me to even understand any of that. But anyway, um, it started with animals that I was final like that was the opportunity for me to be intentional and then it one day it was a person who needed that didn't feel good and neither did I because I have a physical empath or both of our backs were killing us and um so I was just really pushed to put hands on her and made her pain go away like that and she could barely stand or walk before that moment because she was in so much pain um so anyway, it, it, that was how it unfolded for me. It unfolds for people in different ways. I'm hearing Reiki. So maybe you've already, maybe you're interested in Reiki. Maybe you, you dabbled a little bit, something like that. Um, so that could be, you know, the catalyst. Not everybody is a, a physical empath and a, and a medical medium, um, but there's people that do energy healing anyway. There's people that are healers anyway in many different regards. So, so if that's something that's been, um, coming up for you, if you've been thinking about that, if, if you're, if you want to do that, if that's a thing for you, then that's something to explore. Um, okay. So moving on, um, let me see if there's anything else here that sticks out. I'm hearing talk, talk about healing. If you've had this experience of healing, to share it with others, um, and and really uh, document. I'm hearing document your your journey so you can share it with others because even talking about your your own healing process helps others to heal. So I always ask people that I work with to do testimonials, whether they're written or they're or they're video testimonials. That helps. Other people go, oh, wow, this person did it. And this was their, this is how great they feel. So it's that pay it forward kind of thing. So I'm hearing that. Um, and if you've had, and just to continue with your, like it said, you know, look into, look into healing, look into what that is. And, and we can heal ourselves in, in a lot of ways. 
Um, there is uh, one of my eBooks is called Psychic Attack and How to Eliminate Negative Energy. And in that ebook, I list a lot of different things that you can do to self heal, to clear yourself of negative energy, to get just more in tune with your body, um, you know, to really take responsibility for yourself, that sort of thing. So please check that out. That is for free on my website. Okay, so we're moving on to the um, Angel Tarot. Let's see what we got. Page of Water, King of Earth, Page of Air, Ten of Earth, nice. Strong, strong cards here. Nine of Earth. The Dreamer, uh, which is also the Fool in traditional tarot. Knight of Earth and Queen of Earth. Well, look at that. Wow. We have King of Earth, Knight of Earth, Queen of Earth, Page or Ten of Earth. Page of air and page of water. Wow, Capricorn, holy moly here. Let me show you. Page of water, um, king of earth, page of air, 10 of earth, Great, great, great. Nine of Earth. So we have 10 and nine. Oh, this is so good. So good. New beginnings. Feeling the faith. We have um, Knight of Earth here. Guardian Angel. Guardian Angel. So tapping in. I'm hearing. Let's tap in with our Guardian Angel. And then Queen of Earth. Woo! Wait! Nice. I like it. Okay. Um, okay. Um, okay. I'm really feeling with this page of earth, that healing energy, the psychic, um, and, getting into your uh your psychic abilities those really getting a bump up especially if you do your thing that Raphael said if you connect with the fairies um again the singer of healing that's just coming up so much um and and this page of water this and she's intuitive um I hear leveling up, king of earth, page of air, 10 of earth. This, okay, the dreamer is the, uh, with Archangel Metatron, this is the fool card. Uh, really feeling the face strong here, especially um, also, uh, Yeah, getting strong face, strong dragon energy here. Knight of Earth, King of Earth, Queen of Earth, Ten of Earth, Nine of Earth. Holy moly. I'm just, I can't right now. Just nine. Till we have this, wow. It's just... I, I, what I'm seeing is just like the whole court just going come on in your royalty too you belong here in this upper echelon of of you know importance and and it's just beginning like i like it's like mm, 
I know that <clears throat> I know that I have a a a really important um journey ahead. It's filled with abundance. It's filled with love, with happiness, with um with faith, with being connected to the divine, big time, big big time. Um. We're going to get into the light seers now. I got these, this, these two pages here, page of air and page of water. Okay, I'm really feeling with these guys here with the, the two, these ladies, these two beautiful pages, water and air, that we need to blend a little bit more the, the logical kind of sub kind of the logical, more grounded side of UCAP and come in more to the, to the upper kind of the, the psychic, um, realms of fantasy and, and maybe just letting your imagination go, um, just, I, I just, I'm, there's something about this, you know, need it, we need some balance here. It's what I'm, what I'm feeling. Um, or there, that there's maybe more going on on the inside. We just had a card flip here. Oh, look at this, four of pentacles. We have another, another pentacle card. So the earth cards are pentacles. Sorry if I didn't mention that. The earth cards are pentacles. Um, and here we have the four of pentacles. So more pentacles just being, um, I'm hearing secure security here with that four of pentacles. We're going to keep that out because I felt that flip and it was important. Let's see what else we got here. Two of cups, two of cups. So here we are with these two pages. And these two of cups, huh, interesting. I'm hearing blending, blending the air, blending the water. It's like blending, blending the, the feeling, the feeling with the speech. So allowing the, the inner to come out. Got this thing the other day about the flesh being the flesh being the, oh, what was it? Sorry. Flesh being earth, bones being fire, of course, breath being air and blood being water. And our blood is our emotion, our, our yeah, it's our emotion is the only thing that I can tell you about, which is blood and water is emotion, the emotion stuff. So we, we know that. And that breath being air. So it's combining those two and expressing that out. That's what I'm hearing. That's what the world needs. Another two, two of pentacles. So we have two of cups, two of pentacles, four of pentacles, Two, two. It's the twenty second. It's the portal. I'm feeling that this whole kind of thing with these twos opening up, the two, two. It is the portal officially, even though this is the full moon reading. I'm feeling that you know, activated here is this sense of, of, of healing, of coming, to, of a coming together, of more upper and lower. So, yeah. Um, I feel like it, it, 
even we have these two, the two of pentacles and the four of pentacles, but even still we have all the, we have the nine, the 10, the, um, the, the, the knight, the king and the queen. The only one we're missing here is that page. Um, but we have these two other pages. So I find that that's a little interesting. We have these two twos on the 22nd. We have four pentacles. So you could split those into twos I'm hearing as well. So it's just two, 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 two. So really I'm feeling today's portal was very, uh, an important event. Um, and we already know that, but this Capricorn, this is just like, and the page and the page of earth isn't here. I'm hearing the page of earth isn't here, but the page of earth is here at the same time. And it's like also sk like you skip that one going directly to knight and then queen and then king of earth with all these pentacles. So there's all these pentacles, happiness, wealth, abundance, happiness with family, happiness with people coming around you, just people coming into your world, knowing more people, your world opening up, your connections, um, people taking notice, I'm hearing, uh, I'm hearing you are you are a healer in in the, in whatever it is that you do and and in different ways in which you do it. Feeling really strong. Um, yeah, we've got the we've got unicorn showing up here twice with the, with the dreamer, the full card and the page of air. That's also highly magical and getting my attention there. So we have, um, there and over here, we have our, our unicorns. I noticed them before they tend to be quiet. So until they get my attention a few times and tell me to pay attention and bring them out into, um, the, the, the read, I do not because they're, they don't like that. Um, that's all I can tell you. Unicorns, they, even if you, they want to say I'm here, like acknowledge me. And then it's like, okay, there you go. Um, so again, the, and unicorn energy is very much tied into the inner child. So I'm hearing, um, and children in general. So, so, so there's something here with, um, connecting with your inner child, um, more, and concerns about children, please again, give them to Raphael. Um, whatever concerns you may have about children in general, your, your children, other people's children, whatever it is, I feel that that's weighing, that's a heavy burden. Um, okay. Uh, that's it. That's it, Capricorn. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Please um, take this to heart. This is a very, very powerful reading um, with all with this. Again, like I said, it's just um, it's coming. It's it's here. It's in the now. I'm seeing this. Um, this is coming out to me with Uriel. Pay attention to those thoughts and ideas that come to you. They are answered prayer and that rainbow that rainbow. So that rainbow is reminding me of the uh meditation that I put out today for healing fear, fears and wounds and, and all of that. So if you haven't done that yet, please do that ASAP. Um, please check it out. It is kind of a long one, but we go into astral, such a high, high dimension that you really, it doesn't feel it's 80 minutes, but it really doesn't feel like it. Um, and it's deep, deep healing. Uh, so hopefully you'll be guided to do that meditation, share it with others because it is very, very, um, deeply healing. Um, and it incorporates the rainbow, the rainbow, uh, with Gaia. We work very, very much hardcore with Gaia in that meditation. So I'm picking up on that rainbow. So that will help. I'm hearing that will help doing that meditation. Um, releasing, letting go, releasing, 
yeah, releasing um, will get you feeling good and in balance. Um, so please do that, Raphael coming up. He says, last thing you're gonna talk about is right here. Please connect with Raphael, talk to him about your burdens, bring him into your life more. I'm hearing bring him into your life more because if you're, if you are a healer, if you're somebody who wants to heal other people, you're trying to figure out how you want to do that. If it's oils, if it's Reiki, if it's crystals, if it's, if it's, you know, being as somebody who does, um, you know, exclusively Otero or being one of those, being somebody that heals through information and, and giving advice and, um, that's also being a healer. So, so if that's like any, any of that, um, I'm hearing it's, it's very important to, uh, keep yourself as free as you can possibly be from stresses and anxieties and, and, and really work with him really work with Raphael to, to keep yourself healed and cleared and, and guided in the ways to do that and giving burdens to him. Um, if you have, if you are somebody who's worked with me in my healings, you know, you know what that's like with Raphael. So please, um, tap into that energy and, um, that's it. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Please share in the comments, uh, um, if you resonate with this and, um, like this video, if you can, and subscribe, if you haven't yet and all the good stuff, um, happy full moon Capricorn. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you soon.